Hello, my name is David Harrison. I'm an artist and this is my studio. I come here with my two babies, my little dogs, um, Harrison and Henry. I got my first poodle with my first grant. I got, I bought one straight away. I needed one. They are always condemned as a sort of uh, bourgeois kind of animal, although they're much more clever than that. But they've also got like connections with the devil. There's always been a sort of supernatural thing with them too. It doesn't seem very crowded to me because I'm here every day and I just don't really like a gap or a, or a, or a, or a void as they say because um, um, I have to fill it up with something. I make stuff out of a range of materials. I really like to find cheap materials. I mean, I don't even cut the cardboard. I just find the shapes and put them together and, um, hope, you know, and sort of the challenge is to make it look like what you're trying to do, like an owl or a cat or a cock or a clown. And you uh, work around what you've got. So what I'm working on now, called The Real Housewives of Dystopia because I'm quite, <laughs> I'm quite sort of baffled and intrigued at the same time by all these kind of Real Housewife programs. Very rich people that just kind of change their image and they'll get a new pair of eye, eye, eyes or something or, or an, a new pair of massive boobs and you know sort of almost like esoteric kind of tattoos like sort of you know, things from um, Celtic signs and so this little collection of people have all got these tattoos done but when they've got together they don't realize that they've actually brought a spell to make the devil appear so the devils appeared and joined them in the dance with a selfie but they don't really realize that they're you know where they're dancing to there's lots of little bits up here as well This is, I did a series of sculptures called Mobile Glory Holes. This was Showgirl, Showgirl Mobile Glory Hole. I think my love of Pan is because I did spend quite a lot of time by myself as a child and, and I would play um, and we we lived in this, you know, in a London, in a slum, basically. You can make art out of a piece of nothing. And that, to me, has got magic to it. If you don't believe in magic after seeing these things, then, well, I can't help you. <laughs> 